Welcome, Spartans, to the quest for every Halo hero. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain, episode 5 of the quest for every Halo hero. My year-long episodic series where I track down to every house, to every street, to every shop. Halo heroes and nothing else. I'm gonna be hunting down every single one and by the end of this series We will own a complete collection and then some since this series has begun the last four episodes We have expanded our collection Massively <laughs> there are so many now and still so many more episodes to go So in the last episode we scored an elite warlord Sese Refumi two jackals from the storm covenant Julem Dharma and Decimus, the big bad monkey. And at the end of the last episode, I told you the theme for today's episode, Halo Wars. So you left your predictions in the comments of the previous video, which figures I'd be unboxing today. Let's see if you got it right. We've got this parcel and we're going to bust this open, tear into every single Halo hero inside. And in the previous episodes, we've got such characters as George, Emil, Carter, the Prophet of Truth, Sergeant Johnson, ODST Dutch. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. Right, ladies and gentlemen, by episode five, you know the drill. Inside here today, we've got one packeted figure and one, two, three, four unpackaged figures. What are they gonna be and how do they relate to Halo Wars? I'm looking forward to seeing if you figured it out. Let's get the carded one open first. I'm sure you can tell from this yellow background that this is Halo Heroes Series 12. And inside is, dun 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 dun. Ooh, a sniper rifle. It must be the Marine Sniper. Such an excellent figure and it is kind of weird to get a standard Marine in Halo Heroes. Like, it is very weird. The whole idea that Mega Constructs decided to have the last few series of Halo Heroes just, like, non-named characters, apart from Master Chief's galore, it was a little bit of a questionable decision, but I think after a while, at least now, I'm happy to see that they're going back to, like, the Halo universe Halo Heroes, like, actual named characters. So I'm happy that they did this while, uh, while Halo Infinite was sort of brewing and delayed for over a year. All right, little accessories. Don't want to lose any of those. Yes, we do get ODST Romeo's helmet, which, uh, yeah, it's it's cool. It's a bit strange, but I, I like it all the same. Uh, at least the colors match perfectly. We've got a very nice backpack. Now that I really do like. And a sniper rifle, couple of, uh, yeah, we got a flashbang. I said when this first came out, by no means does this uh, show that we're getting a flashbang in Halo Infinite. It's just a random Call of Duty accessory that they decided to include because, like, it is a standard UNSC figure. And even if flashbangs aren't in the game, you imagine they are in the UNSC. Like, they're very, very useful. So even if they're not coded into the game, they'll probably be used by many UNSC troopers. This uh, Romeo helmet, I love that metallic color. The camo running through this marine sniper. You've heard me. You've heard it all before, folks. I'm absolutely in love with this marine sniper. It's so, so detailed. And that camo, I really honestly wish they did more of that. We'll pop this little pouch on. There we go. The Marine Sniper, hey, come on. There we go. The Marine Sniper's ready for action. Yeah, she, she'll she uh, she'll hold her own against the Banished, honestly. She looks menacing as heck. We've got four figures now, and these are all related to Halo Wars. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What have we got first? It is the one, the only, Captain Cutter. I'm sure somebody, I'm sure many people in the comments guessed a Halo Wars inspired series would have Captain Cutter. Like he's so iconic. He's the boss of Halo Wars. And that's a very nice head mold. Uh, I think that's nicer than my existing one. Yeah, I think so. This one's got a, a funny print. I guess they both do. Well, still very, very nice. Super easy to build because there's no real armor. He does have some, uh, some leg attachments though. So arms pop in and this on top. 
There we are. That UNSC logo is excellent. I, I always see this and I think Fantastic Four. I think Captain Cutter could be a, a top member of the Fantastic Four. He could be Mr. Fantastic if he wanted to be. Maybe Cutter is Mr. Fantastic in another life. How about that? Okay, the legs attach on. And yes, you've heard my grievances before. Look, he's hanging his head in shame, man. He's so upset. He's got an uncolored magnum. Look at him. He's so sad. You gave Cutter an uncolored magnum. Like, why? He's not even got any other weapons and the magnum's so small. He doesn't require that many, like, yeah, he's got some new molding, sure, but like, ah. And also, Isabella is the exact same as Cortana, but she didn't need to be anything different. Uh, so that's Captain Cutter. He's, uh, he's got his marine sniper. He's ready to do battle, but who's he gonna be doing battle against? I tell you, some pretty formidable foes. This spans across Halo Wars 1 and 2. We're gonna start with Halo Wars 1, and this figure is a real desirable character for most people. It's Reaper Morami. For the uninitiated, you might not even know what that means. This is the Arbiter. And this Arbiter has way, way more detail than other Arbiters. Way more detail than Thelvadam, I'll tell you that much. Like, honestly, he has so much more detail. This character is actually really, really nice. So let's pop some of these legs on. You never really know which way it's going to go until the last minute. No, no, that's not the right one. Reaper Marami. I mean, look at it. Look at him compared to Thelvadam. Look at this. There's no color. There's no details there. This one has gold sort of etchings running all the way through his armor, and I'm in love with it. I've always been in love with this figure. Both shoulders on, and yes, those dual-wield energy swords. Yes, my baby. Ugh, dual-wield energy swords, like, especially those crackling blue ones. Not only do you get an arbiter, but also two of these swords, like, such a good figure, and a very, very desirable one. Like, everybody wants this arbiter, 100%. We've got two more Halo Wars inspired figures. I think Reaper Morami needs some backup first, okay? He's going against that Marine Sniper. That Marine could, like, knock him out from a uh, hundred yards away. So let's give him something to help out. Dun -dun -dun -dun. It's another elite, another elite leader. Who's this? It's Shipmaster Letvolia. Hell yeah. So if you remember me mentioning in my Primer series, before episode one, I did episode zero of this series, where basically I detailed every single Halo hero that I currently owned before I started this series. So in that video, I explained that I kind of have this figure, but not really, because it's more like a big pop and swap. My buddy Jonathan, for one of his dioramas, he needed many different pieces from many different Shipmaster Letvoliers. So he kind of gave me a sort of random thrown together pop and swap version of this figure. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. I am very happy to get the official figure now. The original Shipmaster I had is here. Jonathan gave me the chest and the helmet, but the shoulders, which that's falling off, but the uh, legs are definitely noticeably different. These are just some standard elite legs and the energy sword is also different. Shipmaster Letvolier. Welcome to the domain crew. You have a very loose shoulder there, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. Yes, he is looking fantastic. And with that gorgeous energy sword, look at that. Let's go check out what we've got here. We've got so many right now. Two UNSC against two elites. It's about time the tables were turned in the UNSC's favor, because these are just two humans. And we've got one more human reinforcement that might help them out a lot. This is the man in charge, the man with a plan in Halo Wars 1, it's the mighty Sergeant Forge. I fell in love with this character immediately in the events of Halo Wars. Like, he was just so badass, man. Like, feared nothing. He'd take an Arbiter on and win just, like, head on. Like, he's such a badass. So, I'm very happy to have this guy just once again. I'll have as many of this as I can. And really, I could just army build this guy all day because Sergeant Forge makes the perfect drill sergeant. The perfect boss in charge of your Marines. So, so he's perfect for dioramas. He's perfect for pretty much anything uh, Halo related. Like he's the one. He's the character you want to have on your team. A very nice leg attachment there. And just that Halo Wars color scheme. My buddy the rookie is obsessed with it. I mean, like most people are. I love the sort of nitty, dirty, gritty uh, Halo Wars bronze and dark greens. This is perfect. Especially perfect for just such a dirty war, you know, just like goes on and on and on. I've given him this nice 
nice magnum and he's got his shotgun. It was really generous of Mega Constructs to include two weapons with this figure, like definitely a step up from a lot and unfortunately, Cutter got the bad end of the stick here. Not only did he not get a colored magnum, he also didn't get a shotgun. So uh, yeah, Cutter got duped on that one. Sergeant Forge raided the armory first, took all the weapons, said, sorry, uh, sorry, Cutter, I can uh, make better use of them than you can. So also super, super detailed face. Very, very nice. Uh, my second Sergeant Forge, but definitely a figure that I'm just happy to have. Really, really nice. Ladies and gentlemen, that is six figures. We can't get them all in one shot. So let's zoom out a little bit and check out our haul. Ladies and gentlemen, episode five of the quest for every Halo hero. We got our hands on Reaper Morami, the Arbiter, Sergeant Forge, a Marine Sniper, Shipmaster Letvolia, and Captain Cutter. So all four of these, I have already got these figures. They're going to go towards just army building or repurposing them for different things or maybe selling some of them. But this Shipmaster Let Volier is the real prize today. I'm just really happy to add the proper figure to my collection. So it's a, it's a big satisfying thing to get the proper base plate, energy sword and armor to kit and boot him out. Five extra figures, all orientated around Halo Wars 1 and 2. And let me know which one you're uh, you're reading with jealousy about in the comments. <laughs> now this is episode five of the quest for every Halo hero, and we've added five more to our monstrous collection. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Episode six is just around the corner, and I can tell you the theme for that episode is. Spartans. There are so many more Spartans around the corner and I want you to try and guess which ones I'm going to unbox. There's a lot that I have never seen before so I'm very excited about that episode and as always you stay awesome, you stay safe and our haul for today is signing off.